Hello everyone, this is Tim from Cleveland Baseball Fan 879, and today is start number 24 of the 1967 Mike McCormick Starts Only Stratomatic Mostly Advanced Replay. Uh, today, the Giants head to Atlanta to face Pat Jarvis and the Atlanta Braves. And McCormick's record going into the game is 11-8, and and 158 and a third, third innings pitched has given up 48 earned runs, 47 walks, and struck out 95 for a 2.72 ERA. All right, and I'll give you the defensive uh, lineup here for the uh, Braves. You have Jarvis on the mound. You have Joe Torre at second. Uh, Felipe Alou at third. Uh, Woody Woodward at second. Uh, Cleet Boyer at third, Dennis Menke at short, uh, Mac Jones in left, Hank Aaron in center, and Rico Cardi in right. All right. And we'll get started. The office, Bob Schroeder, the second baseman. Two, six, against a righty, fly ball to center. There is Aaron, one out. And here is Bobby Etheridge playing third base. And it's a 6-6. Six, six. And that's a swing and a miss, strike three. So quickly two up, two down here in the first inning. And here's Willie McCovey playing first base. Four, four, that's to the shortstop. Mankey, a 4, but a 14 should be good enough. And it is. So Mankey ranges over, makes the play, and that will retire the side. Go to the bottom half of the first. Giants nothing, and the Braves coming to bat. And leading off is Felipe Alou. Seven ground ball to short, and Hellenier is there. One down. Give reminds you give the defensive order for the Giants. McCormick on the mound. Dick Dietz behind the plate. William McCovey at first. Uh, Bob Schroeder at second. Uh, Hellenier at or, or yeah at short. Bobby Etheridge at third, and you have uh, Jim Ray Hart in left. Willie Mays in center, and Ken Henderson in right. All right, one down. Three, five. Draws a, no, that's a, oh well, yeah, both sides. Draws a walk, so. Mac Jones. Lead off walk. Okay. Draws a one out walk. Uh, they will hold him on. And I'll bring up Hank Aaron. One six, and that ball is hit deep to center field. Going back is Mays, and all he can do is watch it go. Two run home run for Hank Aaron, and the Braves get out to a two nothing lead. And Aaron hit 39 home runs and had 109 RBIs in 1967. So the Braves are up to a 2 0 lead. Here's Joe Torre. 1 6, and he draws a walk. So McCormick having a shaky first inning here. And here is Cleet Boyer. It must have been a beast against left-handed pitching in 67. It was a solid home run. And that's a leaner, and we'll do it again. Four, six. That's a swing and a miss, strike three. So two down, runner on first. I'll bring up Rico Cardi. Five. 
five, two. And that ball is crushed to deep left field. Going back is Hart, and this ball's out of here. Another two run home run for the giant or for the Braves. And that now makes it a four nothing game. And here's Dennis Menke. Two down, nobody nobody on him. Braves lead four nothing in the bottom of the first. One eleven. Pop-up foul territory, third base side. Uh, Etheridge calls for it, makes the catch, and the inning is finally over, but the Braves get four in the bottom of the first on two two-run homers by Aaron and Curdy, and go to the second lead, 4-0. All right, here's Jim Ray Hart, the lead off. It's Pat Jervis. And that's a 4-8. And that's a fly ball to center. Aaron runs it down. One out. And here's Willie Mays. 660 career home runs, I believe. 5-7. And Mays will get the Giants off to, to a good start with one out in the second. He rips one over the head of Aaron and... It'll go up against the wall, and strolling into second is Mays with a double. One to 13 double chance, and that's a nine. So Mays gets into second, and here's Dick Beats. Three, three. And against a righty, that ball is hit deep to center field. Going back is Aaron, and that ball's gone. There must be something in the air today as both teams have brought their hitting shoes. And the Giants have cut the deficit in half to four to two. And here's Ken Henderson. Four two. And against the lefty fly ball to center. Aaron again takes care of it. Two down. He's had three putouts of the five outs so far. And here's Hal Lanier. Four eleven against the lefty ground ball to second. And Woodward is there and throws the first, retires the side. But the Giants get two runs back and trail four to two going to the bottom of the second. Maybe a heavy bullpen game if this keeps up. All right. Here comes Woody Woodward. On deck is the pitcher, Pat Jarvis. And here's the pitch to Woodward. 2-8. That's a ground ball to third. Etheridge is there. One down. And here is Pat Jarvis using pitcher hitting card number one, batting right-handed. Two, seven. And that's a swing and a miss, strike three. So two up, two down here in the second. And going back to the top of the order, here's Felipe Alou grounded out his first time up. Felipe, of course, managing the Montreal Expos in their uh, seasons in the early 90s and led them to their best record in 1994. And a 1-9 here is a ground ball to third. Etheridge up with it, makes the play in a 1-2-3 inning for the Braves here in the second. We go to the third. Braves still lead 4-2. And do up for the Giants is McCormick and then back to the top of the order, Schroeder and Etheridge. Cormick is using pitch running card number one. He does have normal power, though, so if there's a home run chance, he could hit it out. He 
He's already done that at least once this replay. Uh, four, seven, that's a one to 11 single chance, but that's a 17, so line drive caught by the first baseman, Alou, one down. And here is Bob Schroeder. Uh, flew out to Hank Aaron his first time up. Four, eight. And against the lefty, fly ball to center. And him and Hank Aaron are getting acquainted again. Two down. And here is Bobby Etheridge. Three, seven. And that's a fly ball to left. And Jones is there. And that will retire the side. So both pitchers have come back with one, two, three innings after giving up runs in the first and second, respectively. And we go to the bottom of the third. Braves four, Giants two. And do up for the Braves, Jones, Aaron, and Torrey. Here's Mac Jones. Three, seven. Oh, found the hole in the three column. Swing and a miss, strike three. So one out here in the bottom of the third. And here's Hank Aaron. One, nine. And speaking of finding the holes, all those hits in the one column, and he found the ground ball to second. So uh, Schroeder up with it, throws the first two down, and here's Joe Torrey. Six, six, and that's a pop up to the shortstop Lanier, and he makes the play. And another one, two, three inning for McCormick here in the third. We go to the fourth, four to two Braves, and do up for the Giants McCovey, Hart, and Mays. Jarvis can go six innings or go five innings, and then he's tired in the sixth. All right. There's a pitch to McCovey. 1 7, ground ball to second, and Woodward is there. One down. And here is Jim Ray Hart. 5 10, and that's a fly ball to left. Racing in is Jones, and he will get there and make the play two down. And here is Willie Mays. So, triple sixes. And that's a ground ball to first. Tough play for Alou. A nine will not be in range, so we have to go to his error check. He's an E12. He needs a seven, eight, nine, eleven, or twelve. Or if the white die come up as a two, or the, the Black die coming up as a two. He'll need a four to six on the white die. And a seven. We'll get the job done. So nice diving play by Alou. Jarvis gets over there and he pitches to Jarvis to retire the side. Braves fans give a nice ovation for that play. And we'll go to the bottom of the fourth. Braves lead four to two. And do up for the Braves. Boyer, Curdy, and Minky. Boyer strikeout victim his first time up. Three, six. Base hit the left field. And they have one up base runner, and they will not they will hold Cardi on because of Dietz having a poor arm. Uh, let's see, he'd be one to eight, it'd be one to nine if he wanted to steal. They'll just hold him on. And here's Rico Cardi, his uh, two run homer in the first inning put the Braves up for nothing. One ten. He draws a walk, so. Two on, nobody out. Four, 
for Dennis Mikey. And they will not be expecting a bunt. I'm going to take time out here real quick. All right. And we're back. Catcher goes out to the mound to talk to McCormick. Uh, and they will not be expecting a bunt. And here's the pitch to Menke. Oops. Two, eight. And that's a fly ball to center. Mays is there, one down. And here's Woody Woodward. And then after one over on second over. Five, six. And that's a crown ball to third. Goes to second. To, they get one, but they will not get Woodward at third. Or at first. Moving to third is Boyer. He's out, but he gets to first. And that'll bring up Jarvis to try to continue the inning here. One. Eight, and that will not happen as that's a swing and a miss strike three. And that will retire the side. This brave strand two. And we go to the top of the fifth. Brave still leading four to two. And due up for the Giants is Dietz, Henderson, and Lanier. To lead off the top of the fifth. And here's the pick, pitch to Dietz, who homered his last time up. Five, five, ground ball to third. There is Boyer, throws the first in time to get Dietz. And here's Ken Henderson. Three, five. Base hit the center, so not single for Giants, and they will not hold Henderson on. Here's Helenier. Six, seven, second base hex. That is Woodward, a three and a five. Nice diving stop by Woodward. Throws the second, the Menke for one. The relay throw just in time. Inning ending, double play. The five is right at the beginning of Woodward's uh, outrange. And that will retire the side. We go to the bottom of the fifth. Braves still lead four to two. And do up for the Braves. Top of the order, Alou, Jones, and Aaron. Okay. Third time through the order for McCormick here in the bottom of the fifth. Excuse me. Sorry to sneeze. Three nine. And again, Alou finds the find the hole in the line there. Ground ball to second. Schroeder over to first. One down. Here's Mac Jones. Five ten. And against the lefty, that's a fly ball to shallow right. Racing in is Henderson makes the play two down. And here is Hank Aaron. Six, seven. Second base X, but that's a 17. Yep, 17. And that's a good play for uh, Schroeder. Let me make sure. Four, 17. Yep. Makes the play, and that retires the side. So another one, two, three inning for 
McCormick in the bottom of the fifth. We go to the sixth. This is Jarvis's point of weakness inning, so we will keep an eye on him. And he will face McCormick, Schroeder, and Etheridge here in the uh, top of the sixth. All right. And here we go. Five, six. And against the lefty, that's a ground ball to second. Yeah. Woodward over the first one out. And here is Bob Schroeder. Five, seven. That's the result you're kind of looking for. And it just gets by the left fielder. Jones and into second with a double is Schroeder. One to seven, double chance, and that was a seven. So one out double for the Giants. And here is Bobby Etheridge. Four, five, shortstop X. Mankey is a four and a five, and that'll squeak past. But only advancing the third as he knocks it down. Actually, it squeaks past him. He knocks it down. Saves a run. This could be a little large here. Moving to third is Schroeder. On first is Etheridge. They will not hold any runners on. Here's Willie McCovey. One swing of the bat. And actually... So they'll start to get bullpen action. Um, they'll have Jay Ritchie and Clay Carroll loosening in the pen. Excuse me. And here's the pitch. Four, six against the lefty. Draws a walk. And that will load the bases. And that will signal the end for Jarvis here in the sixth inning. Uh, in will come Jay Rich, Richie. Yep. Actually, it's cool. Yeah, we'll go with Richie here in the sixth inning. So, bases loaded, one out. And up by two, they'll play back. See if they can't get the... All right, here's Jim Ray Hart. And they're playing back to try to get two outs. They'll be happy if they get, well, they'll give up an out for a run. Five, six. And that's exactly what they'll do. Fly ball to deep left field. Going back is Jones, makes the play. Scoring from third is Schroeder. And everybody else holds. Two down, four to three, Giants trail. And Hart gets congratulations in the dugout. And here's Willie Mays. Two down, runners on first and second. Two, five. Swing and a miss, strike three. And Mays ends the inning. Giants do get a run closer and trail four to three. And do up for the Braves here in the sixth. We have Tory Boyer and Cardi. And here's Joe Tory. Walked and grounded and uh, popped out in two appearances. Six four, and that's to the shortstop. And 17 will be in range for Lanier. One out. And here is Cleet Boyer. Three six. 
base hit the left field. So Boyer has singled his last two times up. And they will hold him on. And here's Rico Cardi. Six five, another shortstop X. Uh, let's see here. Lanier is a three and a five. He gets it, bobbles it. The only play is to first where he will get Cardi, but going to second is Boyer. Two down. And here is Man Dennis Mankey. Down. And wow, the second time this has come up today, fly ball, deep left, seat, left field, going back is Hart, and this ball is out of here. Two-run home run for Dennis Mankey. He hit seven home runs on the year, and this is one of them. And that's the second time this game we've gotten that 5-2 result. Uh, six to three, and McCormick will probably just try to get out of this inning. He'll be done after this. Almost did it again, but five three is a first base X and a 19, and McCovey will make the play. To retire the side, they'll flip the McCormick covering. Long ball does in uh, McCormick again here in the bottom of the sixth, and the Giants trail six to three. And the Giants will have. <sighs> Let's see here. Bobby Bolin and Ron Herbell loosening in the pen. As here comes Richie out for his um, second inning of work. He got the final two outs in the sixth. Six, seven. Swing and a miss. Strike three. Here's Ken Henderson. One, four, ground ball to second. Two down. And here is Hal Lanier. Five, seven, ground ball to second. And that is... Woodward, three, a 10 will not be in range. We'll go to his error check, E16. Needs a six through eight or 10 through 12, and the inning is over. And that's a five, and that'll be an error. And the Giants have a base runner, and they will use a pinch hitter for uh, McCormick. Mm. Sure. They will go, no, we'll save Ollie Brown to the later innings. All right, they'll bring up uh, Jack Hyatt. The hit for McCormick. All right. And here's the pitch to Hyatt. Three, six, swing and a miss, strike three, and that will retire the side. Stretch time here in Atlanta. Braves lead six to three. And we're going to take a timeout. Watch your senior take me out to the ball games. I'll be right back after this. All right, so the Braves will say well done to 
uh, Jay Ritchie pitching an inning in two thirds in relief. And batting for Ritchie to lead off the bottom of the seventh is Tito Francona, Terry's dad, who is a former Indian. Rico Cardi is also a former Indian in this game. We'll guard him now. So. And Clay Carroll will come out in the uh, top of the eighth. All right, so here's Francona. Um, oh, got to get a new pitcher for... Yeah, that would help. He will face... Um, I want Bobby Bowen come in. Bowen will be your new pitcher for... Six, seven, second base X, and that's an easy play for Schroeder. One down. And here's Felipe Alou. Ground out to short, third, and second. Three times up. Two, eight. And he pops it up to the shortstop. Uh, Lanier. Two down. And here is Mac Jones. Jones a walk in three fight appearances. 112. Ground ball to second and tough play for Schroeder, but gets it and throws to first, and that will retire the side. I go to the top of the eighth. Here comes Clay Carroll. And he will face. Uh, top of the order, Shredder, Etheridge, and McCovey. Actually, yeah, well, right, here's Schroeder. One five, ground ball to second. Woodward over to first, one out. And here is Etheridge. Four, six, and that's a base hit to right field. So, and here's Willie McCovey. Three, six, and that's ripped into center field, and that'll get down. Cutting it off is Aaron, but going to third is Etheridge. And the Giants have runners on the corners with one out. The tying run coming to the plate is Jim Ray Hart. And here's the pitch to Car uh, from Carroll to Hart. 2-7. And that ball's ripped into the gap, and that'll get down. Scoring from third is Etheridge. Going to third is McCovey. And the Giants now trail six to four. Hold on a second. Let me rearrange my lineup card here. And here's Willie Mays, runners on second and third in a six to four ball game. And the Braves will get bullpen action. Uh, Dick Kelly and, and uh, Cecil Upshaw are loosening in the pen. And the Braves will not play the infield in because if they do and it gets an A-plus result, that's a single two stars. So they'll play back. They'll give up an out for a run here. And here's the pitch to Willie Mays. 112. Ground ball to third. 
And this, should, let's see, I don't think this will score any runs. Second, third, five, no. They let the runners back, throw to first, two down. Wow, that's a big out for the Braves. And here's Dick Dietz, and he may get called back, and he will. Tom Holler has been, will be called on to pinch hit for Dietz. And he will stay in the game and catch in the eighth. All right. And here's the... Pitch two from Carol to Holler. Six, seven. And against the lefty, I guess it wouldn't have mattered either way. And that gets over the head of Aaron. Scoring from third is McCovey. Scoring from second is Hart. Into second with a double is Tom Holler. And this game is tied at six. So two run double by Holler. And McCormick will get off the hook today with a no decision. And here's Ken Henderson. And with two down, they'll try to let him get out of the inning. But if he gives up another hit here, we may have to go to the bullpen. One four, and he will not. That's a ground ball to second. But making the play is Woodward, and that will retire the side. But not until the Giants get three here in the eighth. And the game is now tied at six. I will not spoil any of my previous videos, but this has sort of been the modus operandi for my latest videos, is the game being tied in the later innings. So Here's Bolin, and he will face Aaron, Tori, and Boyer here in the bottom of the eighth. And Dick Kelly is listening in the pen. He may come on for... Uh, uh, let me get his name in. Clay Carroll. All right, here's Aaron. Uh, this will probably be the last inning for Bowen. He's due up second in the top of the ninth. Six nine. And that's a 16. Oh, nice play by Mays to cut it off. And they throw in to second, and they keep Aaron at first. Big play there. And they will hold Aaron on. They're not expecting a bunt from Tory, But they're holding him on, so they, they might play hit and run here. And they will to try to stay out of the double play. Well, not hitting and run with Tori. I'm sorry. No, they will. They will let Tori swing away. Uh, the Giants have Joe Gibbon loosening in the pen. One and eleven. I guess, it, but they probably have a better result. Ground ball to second, ranging over towards first, or is uh, Schroeder only play is to first. And that's about as good as a sacrifice anyway. One out. Aaron moves to second. Here's Cleet Boyer. Hmm. No, we don't want to walk him to get the Rico Cardi. Okay. Here's the pitch to Boyer. Two ten. And that's a pop-up. 
Lanier calls for it, makes the play, two down. And here is Rico Cardi. Two, three. And that's a foul ball right side of the infield. Third baseman Etheridge calls for it, and that will retire the side. We go to the bottom of the eight, or top of the ninth. Game tied at six. And due up for the Giants will be Lanier. Actually, if we get... Oof, don't want to waste it. Okay, I'll let Carroll stay out, but he will be on a very short leash. Um, one second, time up. So leading off is Lanier. And they have two, they have a choice for which one they'll, which pinch hitter they will use if, depending on what happens to Lanier. Five, nine. And against the lefty fly ball to center. One out. And they will take Jesus Alou to pinch hit for uh, Bolin. And uh, Joe Gibbon will come on. Hold on a second. Okay. So, Lou pinch hitting for. Let's see if they can press the light buttons like they did when uh, Holler pinch hit, pinch hit for Beats. 6-5, not so much this time. Fly ball to center. Two down. And here is Bob Schroeder. Two, five. And that's a grumble to second. And that will retire the side. We go to the bottom of the ninth. Still tied at six. And in comes Gibbon to replace Bowen. And that'll be the final inning of work for Clay Carroll as he is due up third in the bottom of the ninth. Okay, Bowen is done. Here comes Gibbon. All right, and here's Dennis Menke, who's had... Uh, one of the three two-run homers today for the Braves. And a 1-7. That is a walk. So leadoff walk. And they will be expecting a bunt from Woodward. And with the pinch hitter coming up, they will... Definitely try to lay it down. Woodward will be a C bunter. And here's the pitch to Woodward. He squares around. A C and a 7 should be definitely okay. Better thrown up by the first baseman. Runners advance, so. We'll call that 5-4 to four on the sacrifice. And that'll bring up the pinch hitter. That's the lefty. Hmm. We're not money options here. We'll go with Mike. I believe it's De La O. Because he's uh, Miguel. I believe this is his real first name. But Mike De La O. Will pinch hit for... Uh, Clay Carroll, and we'll have uh, Dick Kelly loosening, and he will come out for the 10th inning if needed. All right, here's De La O facing uh, Joe Gibbon. 
three, five. Fly ball to left. And that will be out number two. Back to the top of the order, Felipe Alou. Four, eight. Swing and a miss, strike three. And once again, we have free baseball, free baseball. Top of the 10th. Six to six, your score. And here comes Dick Kelly to start the the top of the tenth. And we'll have Etheridge, McCovey, and Hart. Here's the pitch to Etheridge. Let me get Kelly in the game here. Three, three, and against the lefty ground ball, the first. Alou pitches to Kelly, covering one out. And here's Willie McCovey. Stretches uh, one for one for three with a walk. Three nine, and out of all the the hits in column three, he gets the strikeout. So just got him, and that'll bring up Jim Ray Hart. To ten, and that's a walk. So. Two-out base runner for the Giants, and he will not be held on. Here's Willie Mays. Two ten ground ball back to the mound, and Kelly will fire to first, and that will retire the side. We go to the bottom of the tenth, and Gibbon will face Jones, Aaron, and Torrey. Second here. Okay. So second inning of work for uh, Gibbon. And he was due up fourth in the eleventh inning if it gets there, and we'll deal with that when it if it happens. Uh, here's Mac Jones. Lead off the bottom of the 10th. Two, four, swing and a miss, strike three. One out. Here's St. Garen. Two, seven, swing and a miss, strike three, so. Two up, two down here in the bottom of the 10th. Here's Joe Torrey. Two, seven, base hit left field. And they will not try to help him out. And here is Cleet Boyer. Six eleven, ground ball to third, and Etheridge throws to first, and that will retire the side. We go to the eleventh, still tied at six, and Kelly will come out, and he will face Dietz, Henderson, and Lanier.
Holler had the big two-run double to tie the game in the eighth inning. 5-5. Five, five. That's a shortstop X. 9 will not be in range. So that would be... Menke is an E26. And he will need a 7 or 9 through 12 to make the play. No, an 8 will not get the job done. He throws and pulls a Lou off the bag. And the Giants get a base runner. And they are not expecting Henderson to bunt, but he will be, actually, he will be replaced. Let's see here. As Ollie Brown will now come in and pinch hit for Henderson. And he will stay in the game and play uh, right field. Okay. And here comes Ollie Brown. Three, three. He walks him, so... First and second, nobody out. And they will probably definitely be pinch hitting for uh, Gibbon here in the 11th. Here's Lanier. I can't really bring anybody on for him. Uh, they'll Oh, he'll be bunting for sure here. Uh, they'll be expecting it, so he'll be a B bunter. And here's the pitch to Lanier. B and an 8 should be okay. B and an 8. Yes, better start up by first baseman. Runners advance. So, good sacrifice for... So, 3 to 4 on that sacrifice. Everybody moves up 90 feet. And that'll bring up a pinch hitter. We have... Uh, Mm. Jim Davenport will pinch hit for Bolin. And that will mean that uh, we'll have Ron Herbell coming into the game here in the bottom of the 11th. If not, if the, then again, there's also Frank Lindsay loosening and if they take the lead. All right. Um, hmm. I don't think they want to bring in... Do they want to... Nope, the righty. And the now the Braves will make a call to the bullpen. Cecil Upshaw will now come into the game. All right, a little chess game going on here. The upshot's a little bit better against right-handed hitters than Kelly is. But we'll see. Here's the pitch from Upshaw to Davenport. 6-5. And the infield's playing in. I should have said that. They were playing in. Ground ball to first. And when the infield is in... Batter is safe. The runner at third is out at home. So we'll say 3-2 on that put out. Going to third is Henderson. And reaching on a fielder's choice is Davenport. So he's out at home. Moves to third. And back to the top of the order. Here's Schroeder. One six swing and a miss strike three. 
And we go to the bottom of the 11th. Giants waste a golden opportunity there. And we are still tied at six. And Ron Herbell will come into the game. And he will face... Oops. A second. Time out real quick. I gotta find my Rico Cardi card. Okay, so Herbell finishes up his uh let's see here, hold on. I didn't even put in what's his name? Given. And here comes Herbell finishing up his warm-up tosses. And he will face Carter, Mankey, and Woodward. Upshaw will bat if he has to. Here's Cardi. And that's a leaner. Do it again. Two, seven. And against a righty, ground ball to short. One down. Here's Dennis Menke. Six, eight. And that's into the gap and into second with a one out double is Menke. And here's Woody Woodward. One out. Four, nine, and that ball is hit into the gap, racing around third, and scoring is Menke. That's your ball game. And in 11 innings, the Braves win seven to six, and we'll get the totals. Uh, I'll no, let you know McCormick will get a no decision, but I'll give you his stats and the final line score right after this. All right, final line score here. Giants, or Braves, seven runs, nine hits, two errors. Uh, Giants, six runs, nine hits, and no errors. Uh, McCormick gets the no decision, gave up six earned runs in six innings, walking three and striking out four. All right, everybody, like, comment, and subscribe. Uh, Hit the bell, hit the subscribe button, hit the bell icon. You will not be notified of any new videos and whatever games you are playing. Please enjoy them to your fullest. Have a good day, everybody.